to the next Brave Combat Federation Fight of the Night. Let's welcome our first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. Put your hands together for Will Flurry. Official record on the tail of the tape is three and zero, but that hardly tells the real story. This man is on an Eastern, and I have a hard time believing that Will Flurry chose this, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. There he is, Will Evan Flurry in the Evan cage, ready to Evan battle it out. Let's go back to Carlos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and let's welcome his opponent into the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Put your hands together for Tarek Suleiman! And it's one of the truest things anybody's ever said to me. And then there's men cut from Tarek Suleiman's cloth who will fight anybody. He will take any fight at any point of the night. We may have a new star. Time to take a look at our tail of the tape. Both been 28 years old, but the height advantage by eight centimeters and the reach advantage will go to Will F. and Flurry. Let's send it up to Carlos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Let's meet our first fighter, fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with three wins and no losses. He stands 190.5 centimeters tall and weighs already 84.5 kilograms. Representing SVG Ireland and fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Give it up for Will Effin Flurry. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of six wins and four losses with one no contest. He stands 182.8 centimeters tall and weighs already 84.2 kilograms. Representing Manic Factory Gym and Tiger Muay Thai in Phuket, Thailand. From Syria, give it up for Tariq. Well, definitely getting, getting a very warm response here is Tariq Suleiman. And here in the booze, Will F. and Flurry. This is a very animated crowd. They either like you or they really don't like you. You can tell by Will F. and Flurry's facial hair that he does not care what other people think about him. <laughs> These <laughs> boos aren't about. bothering him a bit. <laughs> I think he relishes in it. Round one is underway. Torsten Haas will be your referee in the red and the black. Will F. and Flurry in the black. Tarek Suleiman. Although he has the height advantage, not much of a reach advantage for Will Flurry. Long arms on Tarek Suleiman. Of course, Will Flurry just uh, finished up being on a six, eight, six to eight week reality show down in South Africa where he really opened up his personality and made a lot of fans. Outside leg kick for Will Flurry as he's the first to strike. Hey, 
And looking to get a little revenge, getting that, looking to avenge the loss to Dylan Took and maybe go one to one for SPG. Tarek closes the distance, but quickly, Will Flurry turns it around. Will Flurry willing to go down to the ground and go down to the territory of Tarek Suleiman, a guy that's very good on the ground here. Despite that, uh, but despite that very distinctive difference in height, I think you do see the taller fighter wanting to take this to the ground where he can put his John Cavanaugh trained submission skills to work. And he does, a nice takedown for the Irishman. Next question is to see whether he tries to ground and pound or pass guard. It looks like he's gonna try and pass that guard. It's very skillfully tying up the legs. Yeah, very, very calculated movements there by Will Flurry. Just passed one leg. See what he tries to do with that elevator. And it looks like he might get over. Knee up by Suleiman, and he's able to thwart. Going into a full mount situation. Getting his knees in there wisely. Fleury is a fighter who believes in his jiu-jitsu. You're gonna see him slowly try one technique after another to get past that guard and then go for a submission. Really putting his weight on Tarek Suleiman right now. Suleiman not in a good place, nowhere to go. Oh, but underneath the net. There it is. If he can wrench on that neck, he may have something there, Garrick. He absolutely can. It was such a beautiful strategy. He put enough pressure on the guard pass so that his opponent made a mistake. There was that neck. Now he's starting to wrap it up. I was about to say, where does he need to position himself? Where does he need to go to lock that in? And Suleiman able to get out. Suleiman having a hard time dealing with the pressure of Will Flurry. Trapping those legs again, Will Flurry. I wonder if he might try to do a little striking on the ground. I think on the ground he's only going to strike so far as it'll set up his jiu-jitsu game. You're looking at a fighter who believes in jiu-jitsu. He understands it. He's brilliantly trained in it. He knows exactly what he's doing and he's executing it. Suman just unable to scramble, unable to get his feet underneath him. He may be there now, but with a tight grip, Will Flurry not allowing him to get up. Torsten House watching very closely to make sure there's enough activity. Well, there's not a lot of dynamic action going on here. There's a, an intense amount of strategy going on. Each fighter knows exactly what they want to do. And if they're out of position by literally half an inch, a quarter inch, it's not going to work. They're playing an extraordinarily careful game of physical chess here. Now wrapping up that leg again, trapping the leg is Will Flurry. As soon as just really has nowhere to go is his corner calling for liver punches, just trying anything. Big response for Suleiman here in Jordan, as Syria just one country away. Flurry is gonna to wanna to flurry big here to show the judges he has something to show for all that, that excellent jujitsu. Well, Flurry didn't quite flurry the way we expected him to flurry. But he had a great round there. Great round by Will Flurry, and definitely a dominant round. Round one is in the books. As you can see, in the corner of Will Flurry is, is Rich Kwan, one of the coaches from uh, Fight Fit Militia, as well as his SBG mate. Flurry won that round 10-9, but without very much action. His corner is gonna be explaining to him that the judges are gonna wanna see a little bit more this round. They're not gonna wanna give him a round in round two, where he doesn't dominate a little bit harder with strikes. Expect to see a word you can't say on television that begins with F. <laughs> Try and land some shots here. Most definitely, as the strategies are being 
given to the fighters as we get ready for round two. Let's take a look at the replays. Will Flurry able to drag Sun Wan down to the ground and just put that pressure on him. Great technique. And here we go. Round number two of this middleweight matchup, Flurry versus Suleiman. You're gonna see Flurry try and do a little damage to make it easy for the judge to give him the next round. Right back down to the ground we go, and Flurry is back on top and in the guard. Again, in just a couple of seconds, we're gonna we're gonna learn Flurry's strategy. He may try and ground and pound, or he may try and get past those legs. He loves jiu-jitsu. I think we may see him try and get to half guard and eventually to full side control. Are you talking about just relentless? Flurry has not given Suleiman a chance to breathe. I mean, coming out of the out of the round getting started, Flurry just jumped him and, and Suleiman has to be very, very frustrated at this point. Very, very frustrated, sums it up well. This is a miserable position to, for a fighter to be in. Got lit up a little bit standing. He's being dominated on the ground. Although his heart is strong, he's going for a key lock. A Little bit of a stalemate, but because there's a potential submission. Oh, no. Torsten Haas is gonna start it, start it back up here from standing. Didn't see enough out of that submission attempt, and here we go. Flurry really likes to throw that teep up there and throw those high kicks. As a taller fighter, he's wise to be doing distance management. Oh, it does is set up those takedowns real well. Well, Flurry, of course, a little controversy in his time down there in South Africa on that reality show has had one of his fights get stopped due to some elbows, some illegal elbows to the back of the head. And I know that frustrated him in a big way. He came out, got a win in his last fight, but he wants to prove to everybody that he is the real deal. And that kind of hurt his pride that he couldn't take home that reality show victory in that championship. If you follow him on social media, which everybody should, you watch the number of South African followers he has. He has built up a big following in South Africa. Look at the striking here for Flurry, setting up another, yet another takedown attempt. And he's gonna get it again. Wow, Carrick, you gotta be impressed with the wrestling ability here of Will Flurry. This is a beautiful grappling game he's showing, and solid stand-up too. This is exactly what the sport is supposed to look like. Now we we are right next to the Suleiman camp. They want him up, they want him using the cage, they want him to wall walk. But Flurry does such a great job of using his weight, and he's just not allowing Suleiman to get any sort of progression up that cage. I don't know if you've ever watched Giraffe's fight, Cyrus, but Giraffe's fight with their head and their neck. You're seeing some beautiful giraffe fighting from Will. Sudelman does get up to his feet, and there's a strike out there that lands a left hand, a flurry right back at him. And they're fighting a very strenuous style. Flurry fights a very strenuous style, a lot of energy being used. The way he gets his takedowns, putting the pressure up against the fence, both guys are definitely gonna see uh, some stamina issues here. The hardest thing in this sport is switching gears, going from standing to the ground, and going standing ground back to standing to the ground is really, really tough. Nice combination there by Flurry. He landed a right hand in that barrage. And, and we know what the game plan is here. He's been really good at it, and that's bringing this fight to the ground. As they fight right in front of the founder, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al-Khalifa, and of course the president, 
the Hawk Mohammed Shaheed. Two men that have really just put so much effort into making Brave Combat Federation uh, an international superpower, and they're doing a great job. Another outside leg kick there by Flurry as the seconds tick down. As it looks like we will go to a third stanza. There it is. Larry Suleiman will go to a third round. And it looks like it's another round for Will Flurry. So if you're in the corner of Tark Suleiman, he has to throw caution in the wind if he wants to somehow fall into victory here. It's very tough for corners to tell their fighter the truth. It's very hard as a fighter who fought his hardest, fought his heart out, he's bleeding to tell him, you just lost the first round, you just lost the second round. What you need to do right now is finish the fight or you're not going to win. That's such a hard thing to tell a but fighter. If you, but if you don't, you're doing a disservice. I mean, you have to let them know the situation, right? Otherwise, these guys are fighting that same strategy that lost them two rounds. You gotta do something. It's very, very difficult though because you have to tell the fighter that in such a way that it doesn't take his heart away. You can't just say, you lost one round, you lost two rounds, because in his head, he's gonna think, well, I'm gonna lose the third round then. Yeah. It's a very, very tough job that his corner's got. He's speaking to him lovingly, firing him up a little bit. I think you're gonna see an e energized Suleiman come out here for the third round and try and end it, because that's the only way he's gonna walk away with a W. As you can see in the replay, just continuing to batter there with the dirty boxing, the short shots, Will Flurry just slowly draining the energy away from Tariq Suleiman. Has to feel good going into the third round. Stick to the game plan, do what you do best. He hasn't taken much damage at all, Kirk. Looks virtually unscathed. Yet another little beautiful moment from the referee. He's checking the fighters each time to make sure they have a mouthpiece in. These little details are what makes Brave so well run an organization. Third and final round, here we go. Well, right down the middle, he catches the kick and here comes Suleiman. He wants a takedown of his own and he's gonna get it. Beautiful technique here. It is so wonderful to see a fighter do exactly what he needs to do. You said it, he was gonna come out energetic and he most definitely did that. It's like a totally different fighter emerged out of round number three. Passing guard on Flurry is gonna be nigh on impossible. You're gonna see him try and ground and pound now. You're seeing some short elbows already. May see him start going to the body shortly. And it's gonna feel like an eternity for Will Flurry if he has to stay on the ground with Suleiman as we are just into the first minute of this five minute round, third and final round in this middleweight matchup here in Amman, Jordan. So much to come, folks. As you can see, another elbow. Flurry is just biding his time, trying to use wrist control. And just like his top game, He's kind of calculating, he's taking his time, and he's just trying to use his technique to the best of his ability. Suleiman really putting his weight on him, though. Still to come tonight, guys, when our main card kicks off is going to be Mohamed Fakhradin and Tahar Hadbi. The grudge match that just continues on and on. Looking to do a little ground and pound, but just unable to really unload is Tarek Suleiman. And at this point, he has to do more than just control the top game. He has to make this thing a 10-8 round, or he has to get the win. And that's the end of it. He's not looking for a draw. He wants to win this fight. Trying to circle. Unable to do it. Flurry, a great job of thwarting the guard pass. Tariq trying to go to the body to get the hands down a little bit so that the fight ending headshot could get landed. Mon Jordan is the site, the first ever 
brave event in the kingdom of Jordan. The crowd has been electric from the get-go, and you got to believe it's only going to get better as we go, as they are in strong support of the Syrian fighter, Talik, Tarek Suleiman. Two-minute mark, and we're going to get a stand-up. Didn't see enough action. Good stand-up. That was a good stand-up. That was a solid stand-up. Here comes Flurry with a flurry. Suleiman fighting back. Now the big knees from the Irishman. Suleiman just trying to feed off that crowd and keep that energy up like he did when he started round three. Now the separation. This could be the best chance for Suleiman to make a difference here and go for the kill. Suleiman has under 100 seconds to win the biggest fight of his life. He's got to bite down on that mouthpiece and go crazy. Larry jumping ahead there with the Superman. Follows it up with a left hook. Flurry in his mode right now. Big uppercut, so Suleiman nearly. Up against the fence, Will Flurry has done a great job of controlling up against the fence and in the clinch. You could say that's been the key to this fight. Flurry is once again establishing his jiu-jitsu. You'll probably see the fight go to the ground one more time. Separation, Flurry looks for a big right and misses, kick to the body, Tarks to the line. Literally sitting with about 15 seconds. He's got to put something behind those punches and stick them, and I don't know that he has enough time at this point here. Ten seconds, stay strong, ten seconds, stay strong. And that'll be it. This fight ends, and one has to believe that Will Fleury did enough, but you never want to leave it in the hands of the judges. That is a, it's a cliche that is very, very true. It's beyond a cliche. It's the number one rule in mixed martial arts. If you leave it in the hands of the judges, anything can happen because it's a judgment call. And we'll be back with the official decision here from Amon Jordan. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Your first judge has it 30 27. Next judge, 30 27. And judge number three, 29 28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, from Dublin, Ireland, Will Evan Flurry! Will. Will Eppin Flurry with a big Eppin win right here in Eppin Jordan. Congratulations, Will. How you feeling? Not great, to be honest, man. That was a shit performance. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I should have got rid of him. He was very sloppy and tired at the end of the second. Third round, obviously, I kind of took a little bit of a break. And, you know, if I wasn't two rounds up, I don't think I'd have stayed there. But I waited my time, and I really want to finish when I got up in that third round. Look, he's tough enough, to be honest. Every time he got a good hold of me on the ground, I was surprised at how strong he is. He's a compact build, he was controlling my posture very well. Fair play to him, I underrated him. But, 
pick me to finish them lads. I will finish nine times out of ten. And I'm disappointed with myself that I didn't. Well, listen, you did enough to get the win. The strategy, I mean, I get, it, 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 fucking done. That's the thing. I show up, I get it done. I'm on way at on time every time. Get it done. That being said, that was your first fight in Brave Combat Federation. Let me know how you feel about the organization, being here in Jordan. How's the experience been, and how happy are you to be right here in Brave? I said it in one of my interviews, but they didn't publish it. It's great to see somebody finding legit fighters and not reality stars. Fair play to these boys. They get all the best lads down here. We're all scrapping it out here tonight. It's great to see that, but we deserve a bit more publicity out of it. You know? Hey, go F and celebrate. Boom. All right. <laughs> There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Will Flurry with a big win. We will be back with more action from Brave Combat Federation.